Hello Psychonauts. Here we are in the video, so welcome. Today I'm going to talk about a few things. Um, I first wanted to take a note of something and that is this phenomenon of mundane dreams. So, you know, something like I'll dream about going to the grocery store and picking out a particular item. I don't know, maybe it's like a certain box of cereal. Um, very mundane and then you know I won't even realize that I had the dream until the next morning I'm looking at the cereal and I I don't see the one that I thought I remembered buying but then I realize it's not a you know it's it's a dream it was a dream that I had it sort of got me thinking um, <clears throat> a little bit about alternate realities was there a reality in which I bought the the cereal that I was dreaming about you know, what are dreams? I'm sure most of us have had the experience of, you know, maybe dying in a dream or not necessarily that or like falling or just something bad happening that wakes us up. So I've had that, but you know, I've also had this, there's sometimes this thing where I'm in a dream and I sense that that something bad thing is gonna happen. Like I have a feeling like, oh my God, like I can't handle this. Like this is too much. Like I can't handle this. This is too bad of a thing. Um, like maybe it would be like a car accident or I don't know something something that's just too bad but then like in that moment it's like I'll almost realize it's a dream I'll be like oh but it's this is just a dream so it's gonna be fine which brings me to the idea of quantum immortality quantum immortality is based on the idea of I think it's based on the thought experiment of quantum suicide which is similar to the thought experiment of Schrodinger's cat uh, this is all, all a lot to describe, but um, basically it's the idea that you're always going to be like alive and you're always going to be conscious because there's always going to be a universe in which you're <clears throat> alive by some, you know, probability, you know, and I don't know how long this can actually work, but, um, you know, in theory... You just, you're always in a universe in which you're alive in. You're alive and you're conscious. And, you know, you can't experience not being conscious or not being there. So, you're always just, uh, you're always going to be alive. You're always going to be conscious. Because you're always just going to be experiencing a universe in which that's the case. And, you know, since there's just this infinite amount of these alternate realities, these many worlds... To use the, you know, the technical interpretation of quantum mechanics that this is based on, you know, in all the many worlds, there's, you know, there's always one where you're still alive. And that's kind of the idea of quantum immortality. And that, you know, that comes back to the idea of dreams. And, you know, what are dreams in which, like, you're dying? Or, you know, is that actually a memory from a alternate reality the same thing with mundane dreams is that just a memory from a different self a different you in a parallel universe mostly these ideas i think are just fun to play with um but it brings me into another idea um that's related to alternate realities and so has anyone ever experienced coming down from a trip and feeling like you came back in in like a different reality than the than the reality that you started the trip in like like you came back in the a slightly different reality let's just go with it for a second let's just see where where it can go so i've cuz i've had this feeling before and i'm going to talk about it so i've had the feeling that i've come back from a trip in a different reality than i started the trip in this actually happened in the last trip story that i shared of doing one plst and lsd and when I came down from that trip, there was this idea in my head to search for particular song lyrics. It was the lyrics of my favorite song, which happens to be, and I think it still is, uh, Jug Band Blues by Pink Floyd, uh, back when Sid Barrett was still in the band. And I looked up the lyrics that I had memorized, and I looked them up on, and the first thing that pops up on Google the lyrics are wrong from what I remember them. And there's there's an explanation, so before you before you I don't I don't know what you think. But we're we're gonna entertain whatever here. We're gonna entertain 
the idea that I was in a different reality. So the lyrics are like, it's awfully considerate of you to think of me here, and I'm most obliged to you for making it clear that I'm not here. And I never knew, and this is where it gets weird, um, so the lyrics that I remembered is, and I never knew the moon could be so big, and I never knew the moon could be so blue, but when I looked it up, it said, and I never knew that we could be so thick, and I never knew the moon could be so blue. So it was different. Now, actually... This isn't, this isn't an inconsistency and this doesn't prove anything because there's two different versions of the lyrics that you can find online. But, you know, it was, I just kind of want to, I, you know, I don't know why I got the feeling in the first place that I should search song lyrics. It was weird that that happened when I thought about it. I was like, oh, maybe they'll be different. And it happened. And, you know, because that was going to be the test. And, you know, there's an explanation for it because I think that there would have to be. But... I don't know, you know, and it's also interesting because that song, at the end of that song, it ends with and what exactly is a dream and what exactly is a joke. But, you know, specifically the what exactly is a dream, I mean, I guess that's kind of what I'm getting at here. What exactly is a dream? Um, where do we go in our dreams? I don't know. I think, you know, I often think that our consciousness is part of some, like, larger consciousness, so... You know, I think in some sense, in dreams, we're probably, we have more access, or maybe it's better to phrase it, that we have less restrictions of where our consciousness can be. Um, so maybe we do, you know, some memories from certain realities, our dreams of other realities. What do you think about quantum immortality? Do you think that there's any, I mean, you haven't died yet, if you're watching this video, you haven't died, so how do you know? that you will, um, or will you just always experience a reality in which you're alive? It's just interesting to think about, you know? Um, so yeah, I think that that's, that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to do a little, a little thought session, uh, you know, think about some of the strangeness that keeps me up at night. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching. I think one day I'll know what I'm going to say at the end of a video, but that day is not today. So until then, bye.